Hey everyone, it's Alex here from VG247.com and this is a quick little look at Captain Toad Treasure Tracker running on the Switch. Uh, Kirk's with me. Hey Kirk. Alright. So, um, did you did you, you said you hadn't played this before, right? I have never played a Captain Toad game in my this life. This is almost, you know, I think that's almost better in a sense. Um, do you know what it is? He's a mushroom, isn't he? He, he is. He... <laughs> He is a mushroom. So this game was on the Switch. Um, was on the Switch, was on the Wii U. And it's now coming out on the 3DS and the Switch. So it's kind of weird. They've ported it down and they've ported it up at the same time. Um, so I'm going to show you like the very, very first level. Now this is a puzzle game. So I'm not going to show too much stuff because I don't want to spoil the solutions to puzzles. And also Nintendo very specifically ask us not to. So this is going to be a pretty quick look at this game. But if you've never seen this game before, I think it's quite a cool way of uh, you seeing what it is. So basically, you're in these levels and you have full camera control like this. Right. And obviously, being a puzzle game, it's like then you're trying to figure out using those camera controls. What's what, the cursor um, all about? I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so, like for instance, you might see this this gem and go like, "This is the very first level." Keep in mind, you might, and then you can turn the camera and go, "Oh, I can get it by going like that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the levels sort of change in interesting ways as you go. Um, and the cursor is for so. We'll, we'll deal with this right up at the top. This game feels like it's meant to be played uh, in handheld mode. Because um, when you're in handheld mode, you can use the touch screen. When you're not, I can use the cursor and I can do things like freeze enemies, I can reveal invisible coins, I can sort of interact with things like that. Right. Um, so it just feels more tactile than if you're using an analog stick. It, it feels like this game was a bit... Um, it was designed for the Wii U gamepad and they've just... So this is literally, playing here with you now, is the first time I've ever, I've ever played this game in TV mode. Uh, other than that, I've just been playing it for like the past week or so in bed and stuff. Like, you know, just casually or if I'm down in the kitchen and I'm waiting for something to, to, to heat up or whatever. So that's the basic thing. Um, mushrooms. A good example is, so this is a good little level to show off the touch stuff. I just think this game's really clever and really cute, and I think if you're looking for something for a flight or something on the Switch, so here you've got this sort of thing, and you've got all these little bits, like you've got this down here that you'd want to collect. Yeah. Um, so look, I can reveal hidden coins by sort of thinking over them, reveal those, and I can move these bits of the level by touching them. And right. again, this is how you solve this puzzle then. So you're sort of like, oh, okay, I'm going to move that there, I'm going to move that there, I'm going to get behind here to get those coins. Can this little lad not jump then? He can't jump. No jumping, no attacking. So if you touch enemies, you're just screwed. So then I can bring him down here. Open the door and grab that. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really, really nice little... Um, Nice little relaxing puzzle game. So there you go. Yeah, so it's all about moving the environment rather than it's, your uh, agility. It's a mix of things. It's kind of weird. Um, so there's some more hidden coins, for instance. Um, and so what yeah, do the you coins are, do? It's just of lives and completion. There's stuff that tracks. This is quite embarrassing, but I've forgotten how to complete this. <laughs> um, wow, I'm, I'm. Go on the other side. Go on the other side. Uh, and then uh, uh, go uh, on the other side, then move it back, then move it up. No, no, no. Pull that down again. Now go around the other side. Yeah. No, the other side. side. No. This side. Now pull it up. Oh, yes. Yes. See, there that you does. go. But, so you see. <laughs> um, and then one last touch. And I didn't I didn't pick up half the things in that level. Um, so there's lots of little different bits to do in every single level. I mean, so basically, the levels break down like so. You have... Um, Three of these coin, three of these gem things that you pick up in every level that are represented over there. Then there's a unique goal for each level, like defeat all the enemies. And so the way you defeat enemies, it said there's no attack, but it, this does have the um, the Mario 2 pulling turnips up from under the ground. Yeah. So you can do that, but obviously there's a limited amount of turnips, all that sort of stuff. Um, just like in real life. Just like in real life. And they, they you know, they start to do some 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 really neat uh, stuff with it, I think. I'm just thinking about what levels are. Don't show us an underwater level. 
Well, there's no real. So I like this one. level. Do the train. Is... Do the train. Okay. Well, yes. Um. Every and game with a train in it is good. So. I just feel like the levels are really cleverly designed. It's like this is one of those games that only Nintendo could make. And also, this is one of those games where if this was like a small indie game on PlayStation or Xbox, everybody would be talking about it. Yeah. Um, so So if you touch them, you're dead. So if you touch them, I'm dead, yeah. So, but I've got a turnip here, so I can at least like... <laughs> shoot, oh, shit, <laughs> um, well, you've back. absolutely screwed it. I've absolutely. Um, So shy guys sort of have stealth mechanics, so you can just avoid them. But I'm just going to let it. Um, Is there like leaderboards for time and stuff like that as well? I haven't seen. We'll check when we get back to the menu, but I don't think. I mean, it's a Nintendo game, so they get. I guess they get. The, I will, the thing I will say is playing in handheld in uh, undocked mode. Curse is a bit annoying because the curse is based on the gyro. Right. So it's just sort of always so there. Flying all over it's a bit of a pain in the ass, depending on how you're moving the controller. So I'm doing my best to keep it at the bottom and out of the way. But, you know, your hands move while you play. So this is a good example of the curse stuff, though. I can do this. And sort of uh, make the, uh, the train. Not like really, what's the word? Is he, is he eating mushrooms? <laughs> I don't know if that's Is he a cannibal? Well, uh, maybe. I don't know. Are those mushrooms sentient, the ones that power up Mario? I don't think it matters. I think he's still a cannibal if he's munching on him. Oh, this yeah. is this is dark. This is. I'm not into this. There's always a dark underbelly to those. But I preferred the Toad from Mario Cartoon, where he sounded like he smoked twenty a day. Oh, you um, can kill enemies if you. See, drop down. only if you drop on them. You can't jump. So, like. Right. Yeah. That's so you the only way. Um, so stuff like. So there's a block there, you got to move. And you, you see what I mean, though? All the levels we've shown have been completely different. And this is yeah, where... Yeah, that's one thing only... Nintendo does really well, to be fair. Like, the, there's so much variety in the games. Yeah, and this is only the end of the first world, and it's just like, there's already, like... They build in the mechanics, so it's like, oh, you learned about touching the blocks earlier. So now, it's like, here's this little puzzle within a level about touching the blocks, where if you do it, you can then get over here and just get some extra some extra gear, some extra coins and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then likewise you've got these blocks here. You can smash them up. And inside, lo and behold, there's a gem I'd already picked that up, but you know. Um, there's loads of enemies. And you can't see very well either. Well you can move the camera, but it is like the ah, perspective right. is deliberately. Oh, I thought you so you can get the power-ups that let you attack. Yeah, so there's occasionally um, and it's nice, no. nice little touches. Like there's a lot of um, they use music from Mario 64. When you get that, it's the um, the classic Donkey Kong arcade hammer music that a lot of people know right. from Smash, I guess. Yeah. Um, so there's a little bit of violence. I'm gonna skip that because the story stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't think there are any leaderboards. Stuff like that, it's a little so bit. That feels like a misstep, really. Yeah, um, and I like, mean, Wii U wasn't very good for its online capabilities, so if it's just a port of the Wii U game. Yeah, um, and the Amiibo support's a bit rubbish as well. Like if you scan Toad, that gets you something special. If you happen to have the Toad Amiibo, but what then all the other Amiibo just give you an extra life each. Or is that a spoiler? If you tell me what it is. What 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 is? Uh, what you get for the Toad Amiibo. Uh, I can't. I can't. I actually can't remember. But it wasn't it, good it's enough. It's that but special that he can't remember. I looked it up on the Nintendo website <laughs> and was like, "Oh, that's not worth me going and getting the Toad Amiibo out of the box it's in." Put it that Nothing's way. worth buying it. Oh, you've actually got one. Okay. I've actually got one. I've got quite a few Amiibo. <laughs> um, and then, so the big thing is when you get to the end of episode one, that's what, what 17, 18 levels, um, and uh, 18 levels. And there's there are bosses as well. So like. Um, so like this boss, you're fighting the giant bird, and you're uh, tossing giant turnips at it. I'll just, I'll just wow. quickly show you a boss. <laughs> um, but then obviously there's multiple. They, oh, they call I hate, them. I hate him. They call oh, them books. Books. It's, it's it's Toad's girlfriend. Oh. Toadette. I assume her it's, name is. I think so that's it's the same as Mario. Then you, you rescue a woman. Well, so, so, <laughs> Toad is a bit more progressive than. Okay. Um, let's talk about it in a second. 
But yeah, so so these are it, this is really interesting. I think so these are like um, the boss battles use the the mechanics of the game in some really interesting little ways. So it's like and the challenge on this level, the extra challenge is to gather a certain amount of coins. So there's an incentive for not just killing the bird as quick yeah. as possible. Um, You just gotta get to the top. Um, yeah, and every every single level is a little bit. Um, every single level has quite a lot of extra stuff in it. Um, you know, it's never as simple as if you play a level once in this game and do every single objective, you've done really well. Is what I'm saying. I guess. Um, in most cases you're going to be playing each level a couple of times to sort of get to uh, get to where you need to be. But and it's not, that, really not nice. that Metroid style of it's because you haven't got the abilities yet, it's just because it's hard to find them. It's, it's just, it, yeah, it's just because like, you know, stuff's often hidden and this little trick of moving the camera, it might seem simple. Oh shit! Oh no. Um, this little trick of moving the camera might seem um, you know, quite like a load of nothing, but actually it hides quite a lot and it's actually really easy to end up you know, missing stuff. Um, and that's why I think this game is just like the perfect companion for travel. Like if you play Switch in handheld mode, which if you read the stats Nintendo themselves have put out, the average person does play I've not, I haven't really docked my Switch since I got it. It's well this is it, right? Yeah. This is the perfect, perfect game for that. Like there are some games that, let's be fair, you can play Zelda. Um, Undocked, but I think that is a game to play docked. I've this played is, it mostly. In this is the. There's definitely arguments for both, but I just think Zelda, like the size and the scope of that game and that stuff, it's just like. Yeah, yeah. it. It seems to perform better in handheld, though. I think. Yeah. So the one thing I'll say is, um, I haven't played it, but uh, our brothers at Digital Foundry did a piece on the 3DS version of this game, and apparently, considering it's a port, for... oh, you did it again. Uh, <laughs> Time to die, Alex. <laughs> <I'm so stupid. laughs> um, Digital Foundry. It's a. Um... Go, 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 go. Get inside. Um, Alex. Um, considering it's a, it's a port of a game from a much more powerful machine, the Digital Foundry guys were like super, super um, shocked at how good the 3DS version is. Now I can't speak to that because I can't say I've seen it, but obviously those guys are the ultimate tech Yeah, um, don't climb up yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's funny how your brain just dies when you're playing stuff. <laughs> when you're talking as well. To record. Yeah. It's, it's, I promise I'm not. Many really people will be saying in the comments what an arsehole, but I promise I'm not <laughs> stupid usually. Um, he is. He is. <laughs> so like you know, this is classic Nintendo boss fight stuff, classic rule of three stuff. So yeah. So keep the walls behind you so you don't get blown off. Yeah. Avoid that. Pick it up. Chuck it his head. Watch. Yeah. There you go. Right in the face. One more. Of course, it's a Nintendo boss fight. It's, 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 it's always the third time for Nintendo. And Sonic bosses, it's always eight. There he goes, kind of the rule. So, why is he more progressive than Mario then? Tell us. Oh, well, I'll, I'll show you one more level after this. Okay. Um, why is that uh, bird got a turbo? I was just thinking that. I was literally just thinking. Um, you don't often see that in games. It, it, it recalled to me the... Did you ever play Diddy Kong Racing? I did not play Diddy Kong Racing. In Diddy Kong Racing, there's an Indian um, elephant who, like, literally, turban, Indian accent, sort of vaguely not good Indian accent, sort of a um, Simpsons kind of of Pooh sort of, yeah. sort of level <laughs> accent. Um, and I, I always assumed though that he was, I think his name was Taj as well actually. But I always assumed that elephant was, um, you know, obviously rare, he's based in the Midlands, Birmingham, really big Indian community and I always assumed that that was probably where that came from. Um, 
Oh, she's got her head stuck in some treasure. Is he hitting her? He's pulling her out. Mm, like the loving like that. boyfriend that he is. So anyway, so this is technically the end of the first book, but there's a lot to this game. Um, so like Nintendo's guidelines are like, oh, you can show anything up to the end of, uh, uh, of the third book, for instance. Um, and there's quite a bit after that. Also worth noting, I didn't want to show any of it because um, it's the new stuff, but there are some Super Mario Odyssey themed levels that have been added for this version of the game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's um, a minecart section. So there are, there are whole minecart levels that uh, where you're throwing turnips from the minecart as it goes from a first-person perspective. Right. And, and yeah, it does it does that Hideo Kojima trick of actually showing you credits and saying the end, and then it's not actually the end. Spoiler. <sighs> uh, but if to be fair, after 17 levels, if that was the whole game, you would be very annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's a bit more progressive because you get to play as <laughs> In, at the start of the uh, at the start of the first at the, at the start of the second book, uh, it happens in reverse. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, and then, yeah. So, just as an example, you then all the UI goes pink instead of red. I mean, yellow rather. And gendered yeah, UI. So, and again, more new mechanics. So, oh god. Again, touch screeny, isn't it? So if you're playing that, yeah, like this is. No so I've just sure. died because I couldn't contend with the stuff it was asking me to do. Yeah. I mean, we'll try again. This is the downside, and this stuff's easy on touch screen. I better move. So, does it... okay. so you can see also they play around a lot with like just oh let's use classic Mario enemies. So like remember those guys from Super Mario World, the American football yeah. players. They're back. Um, They've been in quite a few games lately, though. They're Still stupid as well. Oh, I love the... What are they called? Charging Chuck. That's what they're called. Um, I've got a lot of time for Mario's enemies. So you can see you're sort of rotating this stuff to... I'm going to ice this thing. Shall I go? Uh, I see. Um, you know, it's, and it's this classic Nintendo thing. This is only early in the game. But yeah. they're introducing stuff in every new level. Like they're introducing these slots... We're introducing these slides. Yeah, it's a lot more complex than the first level we showed. Um, no enemies. Yeah. Um, she's also a candle. The crank candles. Uh, what is she in mushrooms as well? Yeah. What is wrong with these people? So there's like the crank candles. There's one level where like the whole level turns upside down. You come across pipes early on as well. Um, so you actually do have you know the classic Mario. Um, did, did you mean to come back up there? I meant, no, I meant to come down here, but sometimes again the perspective can be a little bit. Yeah, it's not ideal. I'm glad I picked this level because that's a really good example of how it's not ideal. And yeah, so extra life for getting 100 coins. And I, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's a lovely, it looks lovely fun enough. game. It's yeah. a lovely, lovely little game. Like, I, I definitely... I can definitely see myself fully, fully completing it um, before I even take my next flight, which is kind of annoying because it feels like the perfect flight game. But also, there's so many things to do in every single level. And there's stuff like this too, where it's like, oh, okay. You know, um, it feels a bit pointless because it's so hard to die in this game, but every now and then you unlock one of these. And these are fun. Like, you know, it's never not fun just to smash stuff to pieces. Um, we know you're not <laughs> yes, 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 indeed. Um, I love Smash Brothers just for some. Context. I do, I do love Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, I was talking to Nintendo about us going and playing some Smash Brothers for this YouTube channel just earlier today, in fact. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show it off. It's it's not exactly groundbreaking, um, but I think it's it's really cute and really sweet. And I think I wonder what the price is because. I'm gonna check. Is it, because is it budget? But I, I wonder I mean, because that'll it doesn't be good. feel like a full priced game. Yeah, but knowing Nintendo, it's probably about hundred quid. Because <laughs> the reason I've no, only got so a handful of Nintendo games is because the, they all seem to be really expensive and they retain so, the value as well, don't they? Yeah, they, the prices of Nintendo games do not go down. But so um, yeah, it's forty dollars in the US. So, um, so it's twenty dollars cheaper than a normal game. Thirty-five in the UK. 
Yeah. So again, 15 quid cheaper um, than your average Nintendo release. Like Octopath yeah, Traveler is 50 quid. Smash Bros. is going to be 60. So, wow. so yeah, I think um, I think for 35, that's pretty decent. Um, it's it's a cute little game. There's a lot oh. more to it than what I'm showing here. You know, how many books Mario, are there? What's that? How many, how books, many books are there? Um, I wonder because I've forgotten. <laughs> I completed this game. So the... If there's 18 levels per book and there's like four books or something, that's pretty good. So, so yeah, there's there's basically it's anywhere between 17 and 20 stages per episode, um, and then there are three books, so that's like 60 levels. But then there's more beyond that as mm -hmm. well. Um, so you're looking in total. Uh, at like somewhere around the 70 the original version was somewhere around the 70 to 75 level mark from what I've just checked and there are beyond that the new levels uh, that yeah. are themed around Mario Odyssey so I'm guessing there's probably going to be you know maybe just somewhere shy of 100 levels and then there's yeah, all and then there's, there's all the collection stuff as well to go back yeah and there's stuff like so you see how it says zip press ZR and there's a little dying toad in the corner yeah what's that all about once you've completed a level that's another new goal in a level where this sprite of toad goes and hides in the level i'm not actually going to do this though and you have to you, find <laughs> good, good what? find him and touch him do, um, do, they, do they eat him probably but this is you know so there's that too um and that's a completely different mode like you can see it's like oh this is hide and seek mode so none of the other objectives matter so there's quite a lot to do in all of those levels too and i think you know for the price if you're looking for something sweet, I actually think it's probably a better buy than a lot of the... Um, I think a lot of the Switch ports have been good. But yeah, there's there's not much room for improvement, is there? <laughs> right, that's I'm it. That's very end. sorry. That's the end. But yeah, that's Captain Toad. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and indulging me in looking at this weird little game. Um, Kirk. Yeah, thanks. You're you're most welcome for your uh, for your puns and talk of cannibalism. I'm sure Nintendo will love that being on, uh, <laughs> being attached to their lovely children's game. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. See ya. Bye.